Melissa. In this video, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to add a bleed in Affinity Designer. So this is super helpful if you wanna create a bleed, um, or if you're using a roll in BN20 of Versaworks and you don't want to get a white edge around um, your vinyl decal or your stickers or your heat transfer uh, that you are printing and cutting. So it's really helpful, really, really helpful to create a bleed, but how do you do that? You can do it right in Affinity. So we're gonna move over to Affinity, which I, if you are not familiar with how to create cut lines in Affinity or how to add the roll and color swatch, I would suggest you watch that video first. I will link it up top for you so you can see that real quick. Um, and then come back and we will work on the um, adding the cut line. I mean, excuse me, we will work on adding the, um, what some people call an offset or a contour, okay? Bleed line. All right, so here we are in Affinity. We are going to use this file. And if you're not familiar at this point on how to open, I'll just reopen it. So I'm gonna go to File, Open, and then you can navigate to the file on your computer. Um, so that you have it here, okay? These already have a contour cut line, so I don't wanna use those. I wanna bring this one in that doesn't have it so you can see. So I'm just gonna go to File, Open, Recent, and then I'm gonna open it that way, okay? So you guys can uh, see. So I prefer, and I highly recommend, um, that you use an SVG file if you have the opportunity to do that. It's much easier. Um, it's the easiest file that I find to work with in Affinity, okay? All right, so here we have our file. Now, what we need over here on the right side um, in our panel is the layers panel. So if you don't have layers down here in the second panel here, then you just wanna go uh, to View and then Studio and then you'll navigate down to layers. So if it's not checked, that's why it's not showing. So now what we have is uh, the layers panel here. It has what looks like a little play button, but if you expand it, what you'll see is that those are actually just all the different layers that make up this design. So each color of this design is a different layer, all right? So first thing that we wanna do, it doesn't need to be expanded to do this, we wanna make a duplicate. So just right click, on that main layer and click duplicate. And now you're gonna end up with two. You're not gonna be able to see the other one because it's directly behind. We wanna work with uh, the one that's underneath. So I'm gonna select that and you can see it now is selected. And then what I'm gonna do is use the contour tool over here on the left side to create the offset. So I'm gonna select the contour tool. You can see it kind of changes my mouse a little bit and then I'm just going to expand out or in. Do you see how um, it's at, It's hard to see on the red letters, but it's working on the other letters here as well. So what that has done is it is allowing me now to create a bleed, okay? So that little area outside of my original line is the bleed, okay? And that's what we want. Now, we need to tell it which, uh, for Roland specifically, if you're gonna use this bleed as a, um, a cut line so that you're not getting the white, we need to change the contour cut line on the internal part of the design, but not that external bleed, because we don't actually want the bleed part to cut. So we'll go to the original, and we will tell it that we want the stroke color to be our Roland Versaworks color, okay? So that's that internal line there. See how this one, it's, it's hard to see on some of the colors, but like if you look at the O here, you can see that. Now, in the layers panel, we'll go over to our second or outer layer and we're gonna change the stroke color to literally anything else, okay? So I'll just change it to black or something so that you can see, all right? So this is how you're gonna do it. So now, when you export this file, so we can do file, export, save this as a PDF to our, uh, we'll rename this to say with bleed, and when we open it up in Roland VersaWorks, what we are going to see is that we will have, quote unquote, those dancing ants around where the cut line is, but not the far outer edge. The reason that this bleed works is that Roland uh, BN20 or BN20A, whatever you're using, is going to print both of them, but it's not going to cut this pink, uh, this outer black line. Now, here's the thing. If you don't want that the outer edge to cut black, which it doesn't really matter because that's not gonna be, that'll be printed, but it won't be cut. You could always change that outer um, line 
to um, transparent. Okay, so it doesn't print at all. But just so you know, the only line that really matters is this internal pink line, and that is where it's going to tell us uh, where to cut. 